Hey everyone, this is part 7 of the AI Coloring Book series. So in this video, I'll be showing you how I'm uploading the book, doing the title, keywords, pricing, literally everything. So to get started to upload your own book, just go to your dashboard on KDP, hit create, and then this is going to be a paperback, so hit create paperback, and then it will open it up for you. I, however, pre-filled everything in because if I didn't, this would easily be over an hour long, maybe even two hours, because... I had some research left that I had to do, and it just took me a long time to get this done. So I figured I would explain how I put everything in, but it would already be completed, so that way we didn't have to waste any time. So we'll start with the title. I have this title because this is what's on the cover of my book. I don't have anything else on the spine or any other words on the cover, so this is all I'm allowed to put into the book title. For subtitle, I looked at what some of the other coloring books that are in the same niche are doing, and I just kind of made something up. So I said, a coloring book for women with 30 beautiful dines, designs for stress relief and relaxation. So I think that flows pretty well if you're reading it all the way through, and I'm happy with it. It's not too long where it's going to get cut off, but I think it gets the point across. Author. Oh my goodness. Author name took me easily like a half an hour. I came up with so many different author names, but so many of them were trademarked. So I did make sure they were not trademarked. So if I type in be stress press, which I think has kind of a nice ring to it, and I could add other coloring books into this or other books that are meant for de-stressing. So I, I'm really happy with that. Um, it says there's nothing, and so I'm going to go with that. I'm really happy about it. I came up with a few others, but they were all trademarked, and then I was just having a hard time thinking of some. So this definitely took me a long time to pick out an author name. So I'm I'm happy with what I have, with how much time I spent on it. Um, so looking at the description, again, I looked at my competitors, and I also kind of combined things that I normally do on my own books. And this is what I came up with. I have bolded this first sentence here. Discover lovely butterflies and gorgeous flowers in this unique coloring book. Kind of to grab their attention. And then I wrote, are you looking for an elegant and beautiful coloring book to help you relax and decompress? Kind of like a, um, I don't want to say like, I'm not sure it's a call to action. But kind of like just intriguing the audience, trying to find out the problem that they're having and telling them that I have the solution or this book is a solution. So do you need a book that can encourage you to let go of your anxiety and worries? Then this book is for you. So that kind of says like, are these the problems that you're having? If so, here's what can help you. This wonderful coloring book features 30 high quality drawings that include a wide variety of butterflies and flowers. So I really love that. I feel like it grabs the reader's attention. And then I did, why will you love this? and went on to list some of the quality. So single-sided pages, each drawing is on its own page, so you don't have to worry about any bleed through, and can even remove the page to frame your favorites. Um, 30 gorgeous drawings, all of the illustrations are unique, and there's plenty of designs to keep you busy for hours. I'm not sure if that's grammatically correct. All of the illustrations are unique, and they're, I think this needs to be R, and there are plenty of designs to keep you busy for hours. I haven't read through this yet, so that's why I'm doing it now. Um, relaxing coloring pages. You deserve some relaxation. Become distracted from the stress with every page you color. Heartwarming gift. This coloring book can be... This is why you read it through. And I probably might still have missed things, and if I did, please comment below and I can fix it. So, heartwarming gift. This coloring book can be an amazing gift or present idea for friends and family. Coloring book can be an amazing gift or present idea for friends and family. Okay, perfect. So this is definitely why I try to reread them and make sure if there's any grammatical errors because that definitely is a turn off for me when I'm reading stuff. So hopefully I've fixed them all now. And that should be all set. And again, I just combined a bunch of different things that I use and that my competitors use to try to get kind of an eye-catching description. Publishing rights, I own a necessary, hold necessary publishing rights. Keywords, so I do keywords a bit differently than most people do, I will say. Um, I actually wanted to change something on here. Let me see. I wanted to add the word 
um, girl in here, and I wasn't completely sure where I was going to add that. Can I? I think I'm kind of maxed out everywhere, so I think that I'm going to delete this part here, and I think I'm going to add in girl, and then add in. Looks like I have so many more words to add here. Goodness gracious. Um, let's see if I can just fit girl in. Really close. I think if I do that, I can fit it. Okay. Fit girl. Okay, I'm going to go with that. So what I try to do with keywords is I do a lot of the single worded keywords. I don't usually do the long tail keywords. And I try not to repeat any of my words because repeating them doesn't usually help. Um, at least from my experience and like what I've been taught. So I try to have a different word every single time or a different style of that word. And I did use the free version of Helium 10. This is like the x-ray part. I just went to one of the search terms, selected one of the books, and I'm not even sure if selecting them really did anything because when I went to look at like the actual keywords of that book, I think I had to have the pro version. So anyways, I just hit related keywords in this top right. And it kind of showed me the keywords of what people are searching to find these types of books. So I took different words throughout here and put them in the keywords if they fit. And then other than that, I kind of just thought about what my pages are, what people might be using them for, and things like that. So I'm um, hoping that this is good enough. Um, it was a little bit difficult. It took me a while. But that's kind of how I do my keywords. And I have a full video on doing keywords. So I'm not going to go through the entire process right now that is going to be in my kdp tutorial playlist in case you're interested so for categories i use this book bolt free category finder and it kind of just tells you where you can find the categories and their relevance and everything like that so i did um, butterflies and moss and i did flowers so that was pretty simple to me that definitely relates to my book this is not a low content book so i do not need to select that and it's not a large print. And then for adult content, I did no. It's a very child-friendly book. It's literally just butterflies and flowers. There's really nothing inappropriate there. So I don't select that unless something's like actually really inappropriate, which I don't normally produce any books like that anyways. I don't think I've ever had to select that button from what I remember so far. So I get a free KDP ISVN because it's not a low content book and I don't have my own. So really pumped that this will have like the look inside feature. Not setting a publication date because it's just going to publish whenever it does. Um, it's going to be a black and white interior on white paper because it's just a black and white coloring book and I want the white paper for the background so that their coloring stands out better. Trim size is eight and a half by eight and a half, and there's no bleed. And then I did glossy for the cover because I just really like glossy. I think it goes really well for coloring and activity books. And I don't have a barcode, so I'm not going to select that. And I already preview previewed it, goodness, and accepted it. But I'm going to just click on it again so that way I can show you guys since this is supposed to be a full tutorial video or full video of what I am doing. So this is the preview and I absolutely love it. Like I am very proud of how it came out. I love that I have the examples on the back so that people can see that. And I tried to space out the butterflies and the flowers so that they, way they weren't like all right next to each other. i um, happy with the cover. And then I just went through it all and made sure that all the coloring pages were on the right side and where I wanted them to be. And I also looked at it this way just to see that everything's how it should be. And then hit approve once you're happy with it. Um, you can also download a PDF if you want to look at it. And if there are errors on the left-hand side, it usually tells you. So then I hit save and continue, and it'll bring me to the pricing page. Which I did went back and forth on the pricing quite a bit because this is a pretty competitive niche. However, um, I also don't want to lose money. So I looked at some of my competitors within the same niche category and people are making sales who have just created books like this book right here. 
independently published August 15th, 2022. And they are making sales. They are doing ads, says sponsored. Um, this one's sponsored as well. But $7.99, $9.99, $4.95. This one is published September 6, 2022. And they are ranked in the 207,745. So I think that's incredible. I don't know if they're running ads on it or not, but that is that's amazing to me. And they have it priced pretty low. Um, $5.99, a bunch of $7.99. Um, five sixty nine, six ninety nine, seven ninety nine. So all of these are kind of, it looks like six ninety nine and above. Then there's some random ones like this one's three ninety nine. So it kind of ranges a bit, but I think what I'm gonna set my price at is going to be four ninety nine for now, and I want to see if it sells, especially since since I don't usually run ads at all. So it's gonna be organically if it does sell, and if it starts selling, then I can always raise the price, but. Just to get my book out there and hopefully get some sales, I think having it priced lower is better. And I'll still be making some sort of royalty, but it's really not going to be like anything. <laughs> um, and we do all territories and then Amazon.com for primary is what I do. I'm just going to scroll through the list to make sure that I am going to make a royalty in all of the different countries. I don't know all the conversions, so sometimes I just up it if it looks like it's too low to me. And um, kind of go from there. So I think that this is good. We'll do four ninety nine, and then we'll just publish the book. So once Amazon reviews this, it'll be live. And yeah, I'm really excited. Let me guys know if you want me to do a video on when the book's actually live, like showing you it listed there, or if you want a video if it sells. I haven't really decided what I want to do, but. Now this book is in review. Hopefully it passes review and it will go live very soon. And I'm super happy with it. Or this is my very first AI coloring book that I've created and used that pro and used that program for. So I really hope that it sells and it works out. If you've created your own book, I'd love to hear about it. So feel free to comment below. Thank you so much for watching and listening and I hope you have a great day.